absolutely will not, will not date somebody who's white. Disgusting, horrible people. In 21st century, second decade, a whole lot of people have different reasons as to why they prefer dating individuals from the same race or outside their race. This American woman has come out to categorically state the reason why she prefers dating black guy. And the reason is something that you never expected. But hey, she has said it. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ambassador Vix, and I am back with another awesome video. Let us move. So this is a hot topic. And um, a lot of the comments and replies did not pass the vibe check. So I'm going to try to be as respectful as possible. And as always, if I ever say something or do something that is offensive and you feel inclined because it's not your job to educate me, but if you feel inclined to call me out, please do. I welcome it. I am always about educating myself and learning. I like the disclaimer. That being said, for me personally, it's not necessarily that I exclusively like only date black people, but I do tend to um, get approached and asked out more. And I do tend to, to vibe with and, and have chemistry with black people more than any other race or culture. I, however, absolutely will not, will not date somebody who's white. And the best way for me to explain why is by telling y'all a little story. So I'm going to try to keep it short, but here you go. Okay. Um, if a white lady or a white woman clearly comes out, boldly comes out to say, I prefer dating black people as opposed to white people, that means there might be something peculiar wrong. Let us listen to the story. Um, dated a guy in high school. I knew his parents. I was friends with his sister, knew his grandmother and, and her sister. Everything was hunky-dory. Thought he was the love of my life. We got engaged. As soon as high school was out, we moved in together. I then got invited to go spend Christmas with him and his extended family. That's where things went to hell. His other grandmother uh, was, was dropping the N word with a hard R, or the W word that ends with back, um, and, and all kinds of other racist terms left and right. His uncle was sitting there telling jokes um, that was extremely racist and extremely discriminatory against other groups as well to the eight year old. And, and telling him he can't be friends with his black friend or his Hispanic friend, telling him to go to school and, and repeat these jokes. Um, being the loud mouth that I am, I said, oh, hell no. I called them out. I told them how disgusting and racist they were and that it was dis just disgusting. They were just disgusting, horrible people. And he had my back. My fiance had my back. He was sitting there right along with me telling them that this shit was bullshit. Um, up until the point where I said, our children will never meet you guys or know you guys because I will not have children around people or in an environment that thinks that this disgusting behavior is okay. That's where he drew the line and that's where he had a problem. Um, long story short, there was a physical altercation between me and his sister that cops got involved. We broke up. I broke it off because I, like I said, I could not have family. I could not have children with somebody who wants me and my children to be around that. It's not going to happen. So we broke up. I started realizing that uh, every person that was white that I ever dated had similar issues. Every single one of them. That was always an issue. Either them or their friends or their family would come out being racist and, and it would be an issue. Uh, I got tired. I got tired of putting my time, my energy, my effort, my emotion into somebody just for it to turn around and end because of that crap. So I stopped dating white people altogether. Um, I also noticed that when I dated people who were black, there was some things that, that I didn't get from the white community or, or as much of in other communities as well. Um, that, that sense of family, that strong family ties and always having your family's back and taking care of your family. Something I never experienced elsewhere. Um, that strong sense of community and uplifting your community for the betterment of your community. Did never experience that elsewhere. Um, those are the types of things, that love 
is what I was, I'm attracted to in black people. It, it's, it has, it's not their skin. It's not their hair. It's not physical anything. It's that, that love, um, that I just never really experienced elsewhere. Um, but I do when I date people who are black. I'm also the kind of person I, I don't care as much about physical beauty or, and, and, um, I'm the type of person where I could be physically attracted to you, but if I see you have an ugly personality, when I look at you, I no longer see beauty. All I see is that ugliness. Like, uh, I start finding all the flaws. I, I, I don't see somebody attractive anymore. I, you, to me, are ugly as hell. Physically, once I realize that you have the ugliness on the inside. Like, it's, I'm weird. I'm not attracted to physical beauty as much as I am personality. Um, but, yeah, I just, those are things that, those are reasons why I tend to only date black people. Like I said, it's not necessarily exclusive. Um, I just tend to. But I hope that helps. I hope I wasn't offensive. And if I was, feel free to call me out if you feel inclined. I always welcome the education even if it's not even though it's not your job all right so we just watched the video as to the reasons why she prefers dating an african or a black person as opposed to you know a white person and the two of the reasons of which me i captured one as each and every white person of which she had dated were racist that's the first one and the second one is the white people kind of lack sense of community. But when she comes to an African, there's that sort of community there. Don't choose skin color over personality. You respect people, with, you connect with people, you kind of befriend someone just because of the person's personality. We have this Western world society preaching, at, preaching about diversity and inclusion. The same people preaching about diversity and inclusion are the same people. Some of them, you know, kind of, in a way, are being racist or discriminatory against other people. But me personally, if I meet one person, regardless of your skin color, I look at your personality, how you think. If I come to the realization that you think in a bit positive way, are you a positive person, you are an optimistic person, you look into the future, I kind of connect with you. So it's in line with what this American woman is saying, that hey, in as much as you might be a handsome person, a beautiful person, in any way you, you appear racist to other people, she finds you ugly. Regardless of who you are, your skin color, or where you are coming from, try as much as possible to connect with people based on their personality and how they think. Forget about handsomeness, forget about gorgeousness, forget about even the race that the person is coming from and even the ethnicity and focus on what the person actually is. Because in one way or the other, you might have the perception that, for example, you might have the perception that Africans are dangerous. And that is the perception that people have. And because of that, a shallow-minded person, excuse me to say, will say that, I specifically do not want to date Africans just because I've heard that Africans are dangerous. But he or she has not all that experienced an African being dangerous. Because the media or people are saying that Africans are dangerous, that is the reasons why, or some of the reasons why, he or she prefers not to date an African. But if you, if you should tell me that, you know, I prefer dating an African, not just because of what I've been hearing about them, but just because of this person, what this person has showed me. And that's a positive thing. I know a whole lot of people watching me right now are wanting to date Africans. I know some of you are also wanting to date white people. You know, there are pros and cons to each and everything. You just have to find someone who genuinely cares about you, someone who genuinely bonds with you. Someone who also thinks positively, optimistic, looks into the future so that you bond with the person. So with her reasons, I subscribe to that. The reasons why she specifically dates African or black men is that there's this sort of, you know, sense of community. Black people are not all that racist. 
in as much as the white color and the black color were there, there will be racism. No matter what you do, there will be racism. So, you as a black person, you as a white person, regardless of the relationship that you guys are searching for, whether it's platonic relationship or intimate relationship, try as much as possible to bond with someone who is positive, someone who you attract and you think that no, this person is a good person. Not just because the person's, you know, outlook, the person's gorgeousness or handsomeness, you might be doing a whole lot of mistake. So according to her, she prefers dating African, not just because Africans are handsome and all that, just because Africans are not racist, just because there's a sense of community when it comes to Africans. Let me know what you think about this video and especially to the three points of which you raised. I'll be reading your comments. Once again, my name is Ambassador Vix. See you next time in another episode. Sukutu, Mayande. Thank you.